Today's Morning Minute, Kingdom Living is faithfulness, is faithfulness through testing. What is the purpose of testing? The purpose of testing is to find out what is in your heart. The purpose of testing is to find out, will you be faithful and trust God? And we read in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 2, And you shall remember always all the ways the Lord your God has led you these 40 years in the wilderness, in the wilderness, so that, so that he might humble you and test you to know what is in your heart, your mind, whether you will keep his commandments or not. Will you be found faithful going through the wilderness of testing? Will you trust and obey, trust and obey God's word, commands, and decrees? And in James 1, verses 2 and 3, we read, Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith, of your faith, develops perseverance. The testing of your faith proves your obedience. It proves your faith is real. How is the shape of a diamond formed? It is under the pressure of trials that your faith is proved and developed. Testing in school proved your knowledge of a subject. Of course, most you most likely didn't enjoy taking tests, but when the test was over, you realized it was worth the effort you put in to pass it. Can you say in your heart, consider this test as pure joy? Joy comes from God. Happiness is temporal. Joy comes from your delight in the Lord. Joy is found in your heart, in your heart, and comes when you delight in God rather than your circumstance. Only a believer who puts his or her hope in the Lord can say, consider my circumstance and trial pure joy. God is teaching you steadfastness to go through the trial. The nail must remain under the hammer to find its purpose. A diamond has to remain under the chisel to be shaped into a precious jewel. You have to remain under the obedience of God's word and go through your test and trial to be formed into his likeness of love. It is through obedience of God's word you gain understanding of the Lord Jesus Christ. He was, he was, he was obedient unto death so that to all mankind could have relationship with Abba Father. Your test will bring understanding of your knowledge of God as you seek him with all of your heart and allow to be led by the Holy Spirit. Kingdom of God living is hearing and obeying the King, Holy Spirit. His decrees, commands, and laws are to help you love and become more like him. Through the perseverance of the test, you can emerge a changed person in the likeness of God's agape love living in you. Allow your tests and trials to shape and mold you today. Consider all your trials as tests of your faith to obey and trust God. God loves you. He will not allow you more than you can bear. Your part is to remain faithful, persevere, and follow the instructions of the king. Never, ever give up. Lord, I totally trust you today in every situation. I will follow you. You are accepted and loved by God. Allow the word of God to dwell in you richly today so you can walk in your identity and knowledge of the king's love for you. Walk today knowing all the privileges of the kingdom of God are yours now. Amen and amen.